you heard? What? Where have you been? I've been on the West Wing for four hours straight. We have five more feet. They found the carrier. That's a lot of I just issued a bullet all over the hospital. Oh, Mr. Bell, it's in a day is trying her best to keep herself together. Jeff, too. I don't know how they'll get through it if, if Steve doesn't make it. So, something like this, you uh, realize just how fast things can happen to the people you love. And how much we do love them. Leslie, I love you very much. I'll call you later, all right? Anything new on Steve? I just left him. Oh, oh I give you the world. <laughs> Don't let it get to you like this, Monica. I can't. I can't. He, he represented everything that was... that was strength, that was stability, that was... I see him like this, and it's just... I feel so inadequate. We have other lives to see. Stop trying. Why? Oh, Rick, why not? Why? I have seen death. I have been trapped here. I see deep. I see patients dying. Ever since I have become a doctor, this is the first time I've ever felt that everything is Do save lives, and don't you lose hold of that. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. Well, uh, no, I, I should not have uh, lost control like that. That's because you care so much. Well, um, uh, Thank you. Thank you for helping me through it. We all have to help each other. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess just, uh... I, I, I guess it all... I got surrounded by just, by suffering, by death, uh... I know the feeling. Nothing in my entire career prepared me for what we've been through the last couple of weeks. But you haven't broken. You haven't either. You gave in to some of your feelings, but that's no crime. Yeah, well, uh... I guess it was... It was, uh, it was losing the patients in the, in the West Wing and then, uh... saying, Steve... just lying there. Unconscious, I guess I just didn't... I guess I didn't deal with it. Monica. Look at the positive side. At least the carrier has been found. <laughs> you know, you know, for me, that is worse. How? Huh. Because when I heard it, I said, hey, it's not over. Well, it's not, and it won't be, not until there's not one new case and the quarantine is lifted. Yes, I know that. I know that, except that I heard about Jeremy. I just went forward and I said, hey, look, now I can go home and I can be safe. I can be... I can be... I can be safe. I'm in the real reality. And the patients and Steve, it, they just hit me and it... Oh, look, it was just... Uh, more than I could handle. Monica, we've gotten this far. And the end is in sight. Is it? Yes. Is it for us? It has to be. 
Why things don't just end because they should end. <sighs> just walking out of here. And... Wait a minute. We're walking out of here and going back to the lives that we left behind us. Is that going to put an end to what we felt in you? Monica, we'll have to wait until we've walked out and put this nightmare behind us. You're not answering me, right? All right, I'll answer you. It may take time to put everything into perspective. It may take a lot more control than we've ever had to use in our life before, but we'll do it because we have to. How does that answer your question? Steve's last blood test has just came back from the lab. Well, it was. The white count's down. Just a little, but it's down. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. It's the first hopeful sign we've had. A person of an answer. Monica, don't get any false hopes. Now, he has deteriorated so bad his white count can come up again. We've seen it happen even with the plasma. Oh, no, Rick. Oh, no. This is the first thread of hope we have had. Yes. Well, look, I'm going to go with it. It's the only thing we have. I'm going to just take it and I'm going to go with it no matter what happens. <laughs> The deep and thought I almost went to another table. Well, I never thought you'd get a beard. What were you thinking? I was, um, I was thinking about Alan. I tried to call him, but he wasn't there. He's still working at the main emergency center. Well, why don't you try and call him later? Yes, I will. I have to, I, I, I have to hear his voice again. I just feel, uh, I don't know, I'm cut off from everything and everyone in the outside world. I just had a little glimpse of the outside world. Oh. Oh, I saw a TV set as I went through the lounge. Showing all the churches. Poor Charles, all the people there thanking God for the end of the epidemic that's now in sight. Well, yes, for them, there's no care. Not for the people in five, however. They're still going to be dying, in spite of the flesh. But it is coming to an end. What happens then? Well, I suppose we'll go back, pick up our lives where we left off. Try and forget the awful nightmare that we've managed to live through. Is that really possible? It is if we want it to be. It takes a little work. It's funny, I, um, somebody else said that earlier. Just the same thing. Monica, what's wrong? Oh, I told you. Yeah. You want something more than just despair over all the deaths, isn't it? Yeah. Can you talk about it? No. No, uh, because there's something that, that I don't even want to admit to myself. I thought this question was about Monica. Yeah, I did. 
didn't want to say it. Look, I, I'm sure that I understand how you could ask it with everything that's gone on with us lately. But don't you understand? I could make a comparison like that, not even if I wanted to. No, I, I guess you're right. I guess it was like pretty foolish. No, look, I can give you an answer as far as our relationship as a whole goes. That sex is a very major part of that. Listen, I married you because I wanted you to share every part of my life. For better or worse, wasn't that we said a year ago when we got married? All right, Monica and I knew that we couldn't make it work. We wanted different things from our relationship. So we went separate ways. We knew it would never work as a long Earlier. No, no, you didn't. Well, well, why did you jump like that? Oh, well, I, I, I'm just out of it, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what time it is. Well, I can solve that very easily. It's, uh, well, more or less 3.30. Would that be a.m. or p.m.? Oh, you can't be that far out of it. Want to make a bet? Oh, it's the afternoon. Well, that's good. That's good. I can go better in the daylight. You got a stiff neck? Yeah. Yeah, it's the tension, I guess. Every muscle in my body is all knotted up and centered right about there. Well, maybe I can rub it. With the blood no, no, that's, that's okay. It's okay, really. Just walking around helps a lot. All right. Oh, but, but thank you for the offer. Surely. Well, any news about uh, lifting the quarantine? Yeah, I just uh, spoke with Dr. Lombard. He uh, wants to wait at least another 24 hours. He wants reports from the outside and a progress report on every single patient in the hospital before he makes any decision that far reach. Well, you know, I don't happen to know how much more of this I can go through. Monica, don't sell yourself short. I think you're a lot stronger than you think you are. And I think you're wrong. I don't think so. I think if... Uh... I wanted a confirmation on just how weak I am. These last few weeks have given me dynamic proof. I still think you're being overly hard on yourself. I'm not. I'm making an honest appraisal of my weaknesses. Well, I think you can profit from that. Well, that's good. Tell me how. You see, in the true quarter main tradition, we should try to make a profit on everything, if possible. Monica, when anything happens that underlies a weakness, well, that gives us an insight into that weakness, and then that's an opportunity to do something about it, to strengthen it, to shore it up. And you make it into something positive later on down the line. Is that what you've been doing? Yes, that's what I try to do. How's it going for you? I fall down like everybody else, but I like to think that I'm getting better all the time. Can I envy you? Hi. Hi. Hi, oh, are you feeling better now that you've rested? Well, I don't really know how I feel. I think I really should go back to the floor. Ow! Still hurt? What's the matter? Oh, I... I don't know. A lot of muscles that are all knotted up right about there. I guess I, I don't know, I slept in the wrong position or something. Oh, I think it's nervous tension. Well, how about a massage? Would that help? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Thank you. Oh, don't say thanks yet. Where's it hurt? Aha, uh -huh. ah, ah, aha, uh -huh. right there, I got it, yeah. You really are, Todd, it's all... Thank nice. you, maybe that's fine, that's great. I just, uh, started. <laughs> Yeah, well, I really, I do have to get out on the floor. I've spent too much time in here as it is. All right. Uh, Rick, would you like a cup of coffee? 
Rick? Oh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Would you like some coffee? Uh, a cup of herb tea would be fine. 